Hello everybody, my name is Archer, and welcome to a game called The Legend of the Blue Sword. This is like a little got it game, like a little micro got it game made by this guy down here to just learn got it. And it has skeletons in it, so I figured I'd play it. I mean, is that it? <laughs> uh, immediately, by the way, uh, loud as hell, because I I'm playing with like volume maxed, you know, usual system setting stuff, but uh, you know. A little, little loud for my taste, but... Ah. Uh, <laughs> very orange. Can't wait for my encoder to get absolutely mauled by this, but... Oh, that... That music's nice. Look, it's him. You found the sword. Attack with left mouse. Whoosh. Oh, yeah, okay, one thing I'm really a fan of, very limited animations, but then look at how smooth that, like, pullback up is when you're running your sword again, just... I dig that. I, I absolutely love that, just limited animation and then just smooth. I don't know why, it, it, it does things for my lizard brain. It activates the skeleton brain. Let's see, what are you? You found a life crystal, max HP increased, okay. I know it's a very little mini metroidvania, but I don't know if I should be, like, exploring or if I should just be, you know, rushing where I need to rush. I like the music, especially. It's very, um, I guess evocative. The music's, do the music's doing a lot of the, you know, the atmosphere here, I think. Because, uh, Goddard's 3D engine is pretty alright, but, um, this isn't really doing too, too much with it. At least that I haven't seen before. Let's see, ooh, this is a weird room. Almost feels like a Doom Wad, so for those of you who don't know skeleton lore, uh, I do a lot of Doom stuff, because I like playing OG Doom, I have friends who make OG Doom mods, you know, I like doing playtesting, it kind of just goes hand in hand, but um, this really just feels like a Doom Wad in terms of like construction, where Doom can't have like true room over room, so it'll do vistas like this rooms that just signify significant things, and it is very interesting playing something like this, and then just being reminded of, oh yeah, this feels like a Doom mod. <laughs> and I mean that in a good way, by the way. I, I like Doom's aesthetic styling, and you can easily pick out whenever you see something that just kind of reminds you of it. Once you know how to look for Doom mods, they're just kind of there. Like this, for example. You'd think that maybe this would be like a floating platform or something, but no, they're projected straight out of the ground. Even the single single ceiling texture is kind of doom-like, I guess. If that makes sense. Oh, oh, skeleton! Oh, skeleton! Oh, look at him! <laughs> look at him, he's such a dark. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna get you. I'm wiggling at you, me and my buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, fuck! Ah, ah my one weakness sword. Oh, shit! Ah, we're dead! <laughs> oh, this is cute. I like this. This actually feels really good. Double jump. Nice. I don't know why. I thought there'd be fall damage. What is this? For being a, like, intro to Gothic game that somebody made, because again, we've, we're going to see a lot of these as with Unity's whole situation of it being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not a very nice program. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of Gothic stuff. Oh, shit. Wizards! Ah, wizard! Ah, fuck, I'm dead! Ah. I'll shoot my red fireball at you, asshole! Ow, oh, fuck! Ah. Yeah, well now I have armor! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, shit! I'm also a wizard! Oh, I love the hit effects, too! Like, this plays much closer to how a Doom mod would, I guess. I don't know, it just feels really good. Movement feels solid, controls feel alright, animations are snappy. It's simple, but snappy. And I even like the little subtle float on pickups. Could have keyframed it a little bit more with some easing, but looks good. Oh, now we gotta. Oh, 
Oh, I could just keep attacking. I was under the impression that we had a cooldown. No, I could just keep swinging. Oh shit, are we fucked? Um. Okay. Am I fucked? Oh no, there we go. You damn well know if we're playing a Metroid Mania. Uh, Metroid Mania. I'm going back to spawn. I almost said Metroid Mania. Rule number one of, of playing Metroidvania is always go back to spawn. Oh, is there nothing up here? I'm, I'm gonna be disappointed if there's nothing up here. This looks like... Ooh. Okay, good thing I can get back out. Um, Dev! <laughs> the infinitesimal death void is still here. Uh, <laughs> needs some fixing. I was kind of hoping there'd be a secret over here if I'm gonna be 100% honest. No fall damage? Okay, good. There's definitely a framework here for something good, though. It all feels fairly snappy. Ah, there's nothing up here either. Wait, oh, oh, wait. No? No? Yep, definitely feels like a dim wad. Ah! Forgot the uh, inner wall texturing there, too, because nobody will notice it. Nobody will look up. I mean, to be fair, it, um, there's a big thing with games where, for design purposes, it is very hard to get people to look up. You can kind of do it like lights and uh, trailing vistas and things that catch the eye, but it's really hard to get people to just look straight up. So I'm not gonna, I won't harp on that, obviously. But, uh, fun to see. Again, and it's a learning project, so it's not like, you know, it's not like I paid money for this. I'd be mean, like, how could you? Oh shit, triple wizard. <laughs> Fuck you, wizard, you suck. <laughs> Ow. Oh, those wizards. I kind of wish, you know what would be really cool for this type of game? I kind of wish we had a block where you, like, you spin the sword around to cover your screen with your uh, left hand or whatever, and it blocks whatever the shots that's coming in. That'd be kind of nice. You could keep the animation smooth, too. So, like, you have that, that little smooth animation of, like, that. Maybe you'd have, like, a charge attack with that. There's, like, so much room to grow, I think, with this. Oh, we're back here. It leads back here. Wing armor? Did I go backwards to wing armor? Or... I assume I didn't go backwards to wing armor. Let's see. Where to now? Over this way? Ah, there we go. Oh. Ah, we can't go outside. I, I dig this. I think... I'd like to see this expand into a, like a, uh, a bigger project. Because again, this is like a very obvious, like, test project of just learning the, the program. But I'd love to see, I'd love to see this expand into something bigger. It, so far, it feels pretty alright. Ow. There we go. The wizard is slain. We are victorious, maybe. Oh, there we go. And in a fierce battle, the evil necromancer was slain by the heroic warrior. Peace and prosperity returned to these lands once again. But is this truly the end of all evil? Even the, even the cute generic ending of just, but really, is evil eliminated? No, probably not. I like this. I, I think as a starter project again, just to get uh, comfortable with, like, first-person got it stuff, this feels pretty all right. I think there's, again, obvious rooms for growing and just things that could be improved. Obvious uh, signs of polish that just aren't there, which is, again, uh, fine. We have to go in with the expectation that, you know, I'm not expecting, like, a demo game or anything. This is just some guy going, hey, I made this project to learn. Uh, here you go. And as a learning project, I think it's pretty good. There's some demonstrations of just core... I guess, ideas there enough to make me want to see it expand potentially. Just it, not necessarily into a full project, but I'd like to see this. I'd like to see more experiments with enemy patterns or maybe some just more 
first person stuff like maybe uh wall hanging or maybe just unique things that would also help as a learning uh as a learning step i should say but overall this was a fun little romp uh wackus warkus Marcus, there we go, I can't read today. Uh, Marcus, he did a good job. I, I'm looking forward to seeing more of whatever you make. Anyway, my name is Archer. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you don't. Check the game down below. Tell the dev I, I sent you. Tell him to say hi. It had skeletons in it, so it's an automatic, like, infinite A+. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I will see you next time. And I guess don't get obliterated by the evil red necromancer. He's kind of a dickhead. Remember to bling... Uh, yeah. I was going to say remember to bring the green sword, but uh, still can't speak today. Okay, bye. <laughs>